Okay, so for step two, we're going to begin working in Adobe Illustrator. So if you haven't opened it yet, please launch Adobe Illustrator. Um, and we are going to create a template for our geometric shapes. The first thing we need to do is create a new document. So you can click File, New, or use your keyboard shortcuts, Command N, then select the Ellipse tool. You're going to set your document up to tabloid and you want to set this up if your image is landscape it's going to be 17 by 11 and if your image is portrait it's going to be 11 by 17 so my image is landscape so i'm going to keep it 17 by 11. i'm going to name it didio so your last name underscore lines and then click create Okay, once you have that file there, you're going to select the ellipse tool, which is located underneath the rectangle tool, so it's in the same folder as your shape tools in Illustrator. Those tools are the fifth button down in your toolbar on the left-hand side. So you're going to select your ellipse tool. You're going to remove the fill color, which is over here in the bottom uh, left corner of your toolbar. You're going to remove the fill tool or the fill color by clicking this little box with the red line through it. That's going to make your shape transparent. And you're going to leave the stroke black. So you're going to leave this color black. Don't change the color. Leave it black. <clears throat> then you're going to single click on the artboard, which is this white space right here, and you're enter and you will enter 700 pixels for both the width and the height. So single click in the white space, 700 PX by 700 PX. And don't worry if those numbers change, it's automatically converting pixels to inches, but it's, it'll be the right size. Click OK, and you will have a circle, okay? Use the Move tool to drag your circle to the center of your page. Um, you can do that by clicking over here on this black arrow or just simply tapping the V key for your keyboard shortcut. Then you're going to create another ellipse, but this time you're going to enter 350 pixels to create a smaller circle, so it's half the size. So again, select your ellipse tool, single click your artboard, change it to 350px, make sure you type the px by 350px, and then click OK. And then we have a circle that is half as small as the larger circle. Then you're going to turn on Smart Guides, which is Command U. Um, so you can accurately align the small circle to the top larger circle. Okay, so you're going to take the Move tool. You have to click right on the line, because remember, this is transparent, so there's nothing to click on. Click on the line, and it should pop up. You should see your guides here. There we go. So you'll see some purple guidelines show up. Now we're going to duplicate this circle a couple more times. So we're going to hold um, the option key and drag while we click and hold our mouse click down to duplicate that circle. Don't let go of the option key until you've got the circle where you want it to be. So now we have two circles inside our larger circle. Now we're going to select both of these circles by clicking and dragging a marquee around both of the circles to select both of them. Except this is being selected as well. So you just want both of those circles selected, not the larger one on the outside. Okay, and then you're going to copy and paste. So Command C, Command V. That's going to copy and paste it. We're going to rotate this 90 degrees. So hold the shift key, hover your mouse around a corner anchor point over here, hold shift and spin till it hits 90 degrees. And then you're gonna slide those guys over until they intersect in the absolute center of your larger circle with um, overlapping the other two small circles. So now all four of these smaller circles should intersect in the exact center of that larger circle. 
Now you're going to select the polygon tool, which is also located over in your um, toolbar, your tool options. So in your toolbar, click and hold the ellipse tool, go down one row and choose the polygon tool. Now you're going to click on your artboard, single click on your artboard one more time to bring up the options menu. There it is, the polygon options window. You're going to enter, enter 350px again and change the number of sides to three. So we're making a triangle now. So change your number of sides to three and then click OK. Now we have a triangle. Now to move that triangle, you are going to click and drag it with your move tool and it should fit perfectly inside of your larger circle. Now if this happens, give it a little stretch and you can tweak and move some things around so there isn't a um, smaller section at the bottom of the circles.